Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Um, it's more of a quick tip. In this uh, tip I will show you how to create a uh, uh, shader effect from one text to another text. Uh, first of all you're going to need uh, Cinema 4D for this and uh, a plug plugin called Frowsy. I'll provide the links in, to, in uh, the description. So let's get busy. First in Cinema 4D we'll make a um, uh, MoGraph mode text. Let's replace it. Um, for the sake of tutorial, I'll keep it simple. I'll just extrude it with the depth. Um, the text we make it cool. Um, the caps. Let's make a filled cap. So okay, that's that's fine for now. Just for the for the tutorial, you can make any text you like. Um, then we go to plugins and we choose Frowsy. It's free plugin. Again, I will provide the link in the this description. Click on it and it will open up a window. Um, <coughs> Here you can choose the, uh, the pieces, for now we make it 70. And then make sure your mode text is selected. And when it's selected and you've got your pieces, choose break now. And you will see it will going to break up the, uh, the text into pieces. So now that's done. Um, now what we want to do is um, export this text as an OBJ file so we can use it in After Effects. So select File, Export, Wavefront OBJ, and then we uh, call it Cool. Click Save. Do we want to? Uh, yes. Okay. <coughs> Again, we delete these, just delete them, go to MoGraph, Mode Text, it's the same principle, um, Object, Depth, 50, and we make it hot. Again choose Caps, Filled Cap, and that's ok for now. Again, make sure the mode text is selected. We don't change anything in the frowsy, it's still open. And hit break now. Ok, so that's hot. Again, we choose File, Export, Wavefront OBJ, and we call this Hot Text. Save. OK. So now we're finished in uh, Cinema 4D. Let's jump over to After Effects. Alright, so now we're in After Effects. Um, let's create the animation. First we choose Composition, New Composition. Uh, OK. Layer, New, Solid. And we call it Element. L uh, oh. Element. It's hard to spell. Hit OK. Um, with the layer selected, we choose Effect, Video Copilot, Element. So now we go to Scene Setup. Choose Import our hot text, Import 3D object. Again, we choose Import our cool text. Import. OK. So now our cool text we uh, leave it on group 1 and our hard text we will make it uh, group 2. Turn off group 1. Also um, select the layer and hit auto normals. And the same goes for our cool text. Auto normals. So now let's make some texture on it. Our 
more shiny light it looks cool and for hot we make it two color red that looks hot so that's it for element hit ok <coughs> and there we have our two texts um, yeah. our group 1 it was the cool text on the particle replicator let's reposition the text where we want it to be um, right about here and the same goes for group 2 particle replicator and position where you want the text to be hot ok now for group 1 under the particle look turn on the multi object enable let's close it and we do the same for group 2 particle look multi object enable so now animation engine enable so now if we scrub uh, the animation as you see we have a nice uh, transition from cool to hot but we can make some modifications to it um, let's see what can we do that maybe change the animation type to radial let's see nah no, let's keep it directional or random maybe yeah, we'll leave it on random <laughs> okay. okay okay so at the beginning of our timeline we hit oh let's move on a few seconds maybe this and then where you want your animation to start uh, hit the stopwatch it will make a keyframe for it and then we move on a few um, let's see uh, 120 let's move on uh, about the one second and we make the animation 100 okay so now we have our animation made with two keyframes and still uh, I still it still surprises me how fast it goes ok um, I can do this all day long <laughs> no, just kidding it gets bored um, ok, let's see what, what else we can do maybe we can uh, increase the scatter amount um, the rotation randomness Now what? Let's go to the, our uh, last keyframe by hitting this little arrow, and let's set a keyframe for our rotation randomness and the scatter. Let's do the same for group two. Um, rotation random, just a uh, yeah. Let's see what we have now. Oh my god! What happened to the cool text? Mm, it collapsed. Okay, let's fix this. Maybe zero. Zero. Oh yeah, that's the problem. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, um, group two. Rotation randomness. And uh, scatter amount. No, uh, scatter this one. Also hit the keyframes. Of, uh, make keyframes by hitting the stopwatch. Um, now let's move to the last keyframe. And we'll turn them back to zero. Zero.
and we'll do the same for group one. Zero. Zero. So let's see what we've got now. That that looks pretty amazing. If I do say myself, uh, say so myself. Uh, yeah. Let's see what else can we do. Let's make a a new camera. Yeah, okay. Now, if you hit uh, hit the C button, you can control the camera like this. Um, transform. Just choose all of them. Oh, I want to see the keyframes of element. Go to the first keyframe by selecting this little arrow. And now we've got cool. Let's make it like so. So now if we scrub through our animation, that looks pretty amazing. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's make a background. We choose layer, new, solid. We call it PG from background. Hit OK. Move it to the bottom. Let's apply apply and generate ramp. Let's make it radial. Move the begin color to the center and the end color out of the center. Let's make the begin color um, blue for the col uh, the cool text. Cool. We want it to look a bit icy, okay. And the end color, let's make it black. Hmm. Let's yeah. About here. Again, choose element. Hit U so we can see the keyframes, go to the first keyframes by hitting this little arrow here and now we go to our background and for the start color we hit the stopwatch and then in the element layer we choose the next keyframe by hitting the arrow right and we'll change the start color from blue to flaming hot Okay, so now if we scrub our animation, the background will also change. So, yeah, that's my quick tip for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, did enjoy it and you learned something, hit subscribe or like, whatever you want. And uh, thank you for watching and it still looks cool. Hot, cool, hot. Okay. Uh, well, oh, just another thing, you can also, uh, to make it look even better, under the render settings, turn on the ambient occlusion, let's bring in the intensity and the radius, and of course, let's turn on the motion blur for the composition. Now you've got yourself a professional looking title. Cool. Hot. Cool. Hot. Cool. Oh. Okay, thank you and bye bye.